So first things first, I'm gonna be using a dome cap, and this is the mesh kind because I like my hair to breathe a little bit underneath. So I'm gonna put that right onto the mannequin head, and I'm gonna T-pin it down so that it doesn't move. Now I'm gonna take the lace closure that we made. I will leave a link right here if you haven't seen the video. And we're gonna put that right onto the mesh dome cap. Leaving about an inch in front of the full frontal. You're gonna make sure that you leave that inch out all around the perimeter of the head. Now I'm gonna just T-pin that down. Make sure you do not cut the lace because you will need that just you know add security to hold your hair down now i'm taking the clip off i'm going to just push everything towards the front of the head so we can work with the lace closure in the back and this is where we're going to be sewing the frontal down first i'm going to add a few t-pins to make sure everything is secure in place so you're going to add a t-pin on both sides and in the middle then you're going to go ahead and grab your needle and thread and start sewing it down. I don't have a particular method to this. I'm just doing what I do. I don't do the double loop thingy or the knots every time I go through. I'm just going in and out, in and out. And that always works for me. It never comes undone. So you're going to go ahead and knot the end and cut off the extra um, thread and you're done with the lace closure part. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with the bundles. Here is my bundle, and I think this is the, I forgot what length it is, I'll leave it right here. But you can see these curls are so pretty. The tracks are so nicely done. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm sewing down above the elastic band. I don't wanna sew the elastic band down. And you see here, I put my thread through the tracks first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the wig. And we're just gonna do that to the bottom there. Sew it down, same method that I did the lace closure. I'm just gonna go in and out, in and out. And then I'm gonna show you how I fold over the ends. And I'm just folding it over normally. I'm not gonna cut it or anything like that because you know, I don't find it bulky in my head, so I'm fine with just folding it over without cutting it. Now the next one I'm showing you that I'm doing it in the triangle type of pattern because that's how I want my hair to go all the way up. And I'm just gonna just sew that down also. Those T-pins come in handy. So that is the first bundle. You can see the design that is going in. Now we're ready for the second bundle. And I'm starting it right there towards the third of the head because we want to make sure we're still going in that triangle type of motion so that everything will be seamlessly done at the end. So now it's time to add the third bundle. You can see here how the progress is coming along. Now everything is starting to line up nicely. So going in with the third bundle, I'm going to be adding it right there, a third of the way, just like the last bundle. Now we're finished with the third and that's what it looks like. Everything is looking pretty even now. So the fourth bundle will go right on there, nice and even. So all in all, I use about three and a half bundles because I did cut some of the tracks off so that I can get all the layers in the hair. And I'm loving it so far. So I'm gonna show you guys how I got the lace frontal to blend in with the rest of the wig. Because I did kind of brush all the curls out of it when I was bleaching it. But the curls come right back when you add any kind of liquid to it. But there it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the lace off and add it to my head. And I just put a little wrap on the front just to hold it down for a while. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I, you know, activate the curls again. And I'm just using Frizz Ease, and I'm gonna spray that all over the hair. Here's what the bottle looks like. And I'm just gonna spray that all over the hair, and that's about all. And this damn fly just kept trying to land on me, and it was so annoying. <laughs> but yeah. 
that's what happens when you film in your basement and your husband always leaves the door open for the dogs to come in so mm, we're gonna have flies in there sometime so there we go all you have to do is just add a little water and the curls are just nice and beautiful I've worn this hair a few times and I've gotten the most compliments on this hair that I've ever gotten on any hair I've ever worn everyone thinks this is my natural hair it's just so realistic and beautiful so so far I think this is the best curly hair that I've ever worn or ever had to deal with it's so beautiful and it mimics natural curly hair so that is it with the whole series for the lace frontal wig I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one Mwah. bye bye So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bleach and your mixing bowl.